Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll be discussing about the second and third problem of today's weekly contest, Beautiful Towers 2 and Beautiful Towers 1. The only difference between the two problems was the constraint. In the second problem, the constraint was smaller, max heights and n less than equals to 20 to the power 3. And in the third problem, the constraint was n and max height should be less than equals to 20 to the power 5. As always, we'll start from scratch, build the solution step by step and finally solve the third problem, which is the harder version of the second problem. So with that, let's get started. The problem states that you are given a zero indexed array max heights of n integers. You are tasked with building n towers in the coordinate line. The ith tower is built at coordinate i and has a height of heights i. A configuration of tower is beautiful if the following conditions hold. The height of the tower that you will build at the ith coordinate should be less than equals to the maximum height allowed at that particular coordinate. And for the height of the tower that you will build, there should be at least one index i such that everything before i, the height of those towers should be less than equals to the height of the next tower. Okay. And similarly, for every index after i, the height of that uh, height of the next tower should be smaller than the height of the current tower. Right. So in a way, there should be a mountain like configuration. So it the heights will go up and then will come down. So there should be some index i at which the height will be maximum and then everything will be coming down. So we need to build this array heights such that the max, uh, the sum is some of the height of the tower is maximum possible, right? So let's take an example. Let's say max height says five, three, four, one, one. So it says that at coordinate zero, you can build a tower of at most height five at coordinate one, you can build a tower of at most height three and so on and so forth. Now, what you can do is you can build towers with height like this 53311. So basically you are saying that at coordinate zero, I will build a tower of height five, which is allowed, right? Similarly at coordinate one, I will build a tower of height three, which is allowed at coordinate one, I will build a tower of height three, which is also allowed like up till height four, everything is allowed. So height three is allowed. So in this configuration, the max, the sum of height of the towers will be five plus three plus three plus one plus one, which is 13. And you can try out any other possible configuration. You will not be able to achieve the sum greater than 13. And at the same time, the height of tower that you will build should also have a mountain like configuration. So in this case, so you can see the mountain actually starts from the first index itself. So instead of going up and then down, it is like coming down itself. And that is also a valid mountain as per the problem statement, right? So hope the problem statement is clear. Now how to solve this? So as per the problem statement, the height of the tower should be something like this and then it will come down, right? And it can also be like this, like there should not be, uh, there may not be any upward slope at all. And in the same fashion, it can only, it can also be this, right? So basically what, what we are saying is at this particular index, at the 10th index, the height would be maximum at ninth index height would be smaller than that at eighth index height would be smaller than it and so on and so forth. So one of these configuration would be there, right? So in each of these configuration, right? We have one topmost index for sure. So there should be at least uh, one index where the height is maximum possible. Right. So let's say we fixed that height. For example, let's say we are saying that, okay, at index five, the height would be maximum possible. Now, if we have fixed index five, can you figure out the value of the rest of the indexes? Notice that with index five fixed, we are saying that this is the top. So everything before it should be less than equals to and, af and everything after it also should be less than equals to, right? And uh, let's try the left part first. So the height is seven. The previous height is one. 
so it means that you can only build a tower of at max height one and you are saying that the next height is seven so you you are allowed to build a tower of up till height seven here like you can build a tower of up till height seven here but you are allowed to build only tower up till height one so what you will say okay i will pick this because that's the maximum possible tower i can build at this particular index so at this index you are building a tower of height seven at this index you are building a tower of height one right now for this index because you have built a tower of height one here now this index is also restricted right you can only build a tower of height less than equals to one here even though you are allowed to build a tower up till height eight right so basically this in this case as well you will build a tower of height one because one is the maximum possible thing you can build here and you will not pick zero because you want your sum to be maximum possible right so you will want to pick a number here that increases the sum right so that's why we pick one here now in the same fashion once we have figured out the value for this particular tower can we figure out the value for this tower as well the answer is same uh, the height of like the maximum height of tower that is allowed at coordinate 2 is 9 but because we have built a tower of height 1 at index 3 we are bound to build a tower of height less than equals to 1 at index 2 so again this value would be 1 and in the same fashion everything before should all uh, will be 1 as well so basically if we have fixed the value here if we have fixed the maximum value index we can figure out the value for rest of the index incrementally by going leftward right let's go rightward as well so in this case you can see the maximum we are going right right so basically the height of tower should decrease from here or should stay the same basically this in everything in the right should be greater than equals to whatever is in the left right now we have built a tower of height 7 here right now what is the value you can or what is the maximum height of tower you can build at index 6 the answer is 7 why the same reason you are allowed to build a tower of eight, uh, height 8 but what you are saying is whatever tower you will build here that value should be should be less than equals to the value at index 5 so even though you are allowed to build a tower of height 8 you are restricted by this number 7 and hence you will pick 7 because again you want to maximize the sum so you will pick the one which as max as you want as max as you can right in the same fashion you will uh, once you have fixed this you can figure out the value here right the same argument you are allowed to build a tower of height 3 only you have but you can build up till 7 so you will take 3 only because af after 3 you can't build like uh, it is restricted by max height and max height is 3 here right in the same fashion the value here would be 3 and in the same fashion the value here would be 3 and finally the value here would be 1 why because the tower you are allowed to build uh, you can build is up till height 3 here but you are only allowed to build a tower of max height 1 so you will take 1 not 0 again because you want to maximize the height so basically once we have fixed a particular index we can figure out the value or the height of the tower maximum height of the tower that you can build for rest of the coordinates as well and uh, once you have figured out the values you can just sum them all up and you will get what is the maximum height of the tower that you can what is the maximum sum of height of the tower that you can build if you say that my peak would be at coordinate 5 right and you can try this peak for all other indexes as well and whichever will give you the maximum value that will be your answer right so in this particular case we can see the sum is 1 1 1 1 1 which is 5 plus 7 12 12 plus 7 19 19 plus 9 28 and 1 29 so the well the height of the tower that maximum height of the tower sum that you can get if 5 is a is the peak is 29 the same value you will find out when 6 is the peak let's say the same value you will find out when 7 is the peak and once you have figured out those values 
you can just take the maximum across all of them and that will be your final answer basically that will be the maximum sum height of the tower that you can achieve uh, with the given configuration of max heights right so what how, like, how would the pseudo code look like the pseudo code would be very straightforward as we have discussed uh, we will try to find out the max sum for each of the indexes or basically for the index where we think the mountain top would be there so this function will just take in an index and will give us the maximum sum possible if top is at this particular index so we'll start with sum zero now previous element so we will try to fill the values for left and we will then try to fill the values for right so for the values for the left what we know that the value here should be less than equals to whatever is the value of the next tower or the previous tower depend on how you look at it so this previous denotes what is the max value that i'm allowed or what is the tower that i have built next so this the tower that i will that i can build in this index is restricted by this particular value right so this previous denotes that now for every index i in the uh, before top index we will simply check if array i is greater than previous if array i is greater than previous it means i am allowed to make a tower of some height let's say h but after this i have the tower of some h dash so even though i am allowed to make a tower of greater height i will not make that tower of greater height in instead i will just match this h dash because that is the maximum which can be possible given that this index would be the peak right so that's what we have done if uh, the current index uh, or if the value of the previous one or the next one is uh, greater or is smaller then we will simply bound our sum with that particular value right and if it is not the case in uh, in other words if uh, let's say h dash uh, h is this and if h dash is only this right so in that case you are saying that the tower that i have built next is this height but here i can only build up till h dash so i will just build for h dash because with h dash the less than equality less than equals to equality will still suffice and i will build the maximum height possible here so that's what we have done otherwise we will just sum them with the current uh, height that is possible and uh, we'll also update the previous because now we are bound by this number not this number right because the next index that will whatever will be there should be smaller than or equals to this h dash value not h right so in the same fashion we'll simply go we'll keep on doing and we'll finally get the sum right and uh, the same thing we will do exact same piece we will do in here as well basically in the right side as well and finally we will get the total sum when this particular index is the top index so for the index 5 the value we have seen that it will be coming out to 29 and uh, we'll try max sum we'll call max sum for each of the indexes and whichever will give us maximum that will be our final result now what is the overall time complexity notice that we are calling max sum for every index so we have total n indexes so n times this max sum function will be invoked now for each time the max sum function is invoked what is the time complexity that uh, what is the work that we are doing inside this function so we are iterating over all the previous indexes and all the next indexes so in other words we are iterating over the entire array right except the current element so again we are doing order and operations inside this max sum function so in total the complexity is order n square so this order n square is sufficient to pass the second problem where n was 10 to the power 3 so you can apply this exact same trick or say exact same algorithm and uh, try to get this submitted for the second problem uh, if you haven't uh, solved this part in the contest i would strongly encourage you to pause right here and try to get this submitted 
uh, before moving forward. So next we'll look at how to optimize this because this n square solution is not sufficient for the third problem which says n is 10 to the power 5. So this n square solution will not pass there. So we have to optimize this. Now which one we can optimize? So there are two parts right. First part is the number of times max sum is invoked or in other words we are searching for the index which will give us a where we can make the pick and the second line is coming from the fact that for each of these indexes we are doing order and operation to figure out the total sum or the maximum sum possible for the entire uh, for the given max heights array right so we have to remove one of these n for sure now which one will you remove so whenever uh, like here one of the obvious thing that to do is we are doing a linear search for the height per tower we are trying to find out where the peak lies either here or here or here or here so we are kind of doing linear search does the peak lie here does the peak lie here does the peak lie here and so on and so forth can we do binary search if we are able to do binary search we can remove this n again this n was just searching part this n was coming from the maxim so we can remove this n with log n and that is sufficient to pass the time complexity but here binary search is not applicable why because given the given the fact that okay you know that okay the maximum sum here is 29 so with this number 29 you can't decide whether to go left or right or in other words you can't deterministically decide whether to go left or right and hence binary search is not applicable so you can uh, try to think a bit more but binary search is not applicable in other words we can't simply find out which index peak would be at so the next choice that we have is to try removing this n in other words we want to do something such that this calculation of maxim will not take order in time and will take less than that right so let's try this particular thing basically we have to do something such that the entire the maximum function is taking less than order in time in other words we are saying that we we don't have the liberty to iterate over the left or the right half of the array at all given an index we should be able to instantly tell what would be the maximum sum possible from the left side and maximum sum possible from the right side given this will be the peak so that's what we are trying to achieve right so let's do that so let's just get rid of some of this stuff and we will start that so notice what is happening sorry so we have this peak let's assume right or let's say this is the peak now right if this is the peak we are saying two things can happen here either the previous element is already less than equals to the current element right or the previous element would be greater than the current element so the other example we we'll look at but for now you can see there are two possibilities only right if the previous element is less than equals to the current element or the current peak this is the peak point which is let's say p so if the if the previous element is less than the peak point it means we are free to choose any value in the left irrespective of what the value here is right again just reiterate because the previous element is already smaller and it means that you are only allowed to make a height of 7 here you are you can be certain that you will not build the tower of greater than 7 height and hence you can simply remove all the restriction from this particular index completely so in other words you are saying that whatever was the answer for this uh, for this peak the same can be the answer for this peak as well just to uh, make this fact more, uh, much more clear let's say when this is the peak when seven, when index 5 is the peak in that case let's say you figure out the sum 
somehow uh, you are iterate over or do something you f you know what is the sum possible maximum sum possible from the left right and let's say it is s for example right now when 8 will be the peak you know that the sum would be s plus 7 why because we know that we can actually build a tower of heights we can i actually build a tower of at max height 7 and in when this will be the peak we might have already built a tower of height 7 here right and because we already have built the tower of height 7 here we can continue with the same configuration with 8 as well because even if the tower is of height 7 it is actually less than equals to 8 right so for now what we have just seen that if uh, the index is already smaller than the uh, then the next index we can simply reuse whatever was the sum for the previous index in the next index as well so whatever was the left sum for this index we can simply reuse that and just do s plus 7 to f and that will be the sum for this particular index 8 right now we know that what to do when the sum is Uh, when the value is smaller now let's look at the case where the value is greater so for example let's say this is the peak now so you know the value here right you know what is the sum for 8 you know what is the sum for 7 and so on and so forth you know everything from before now you want to calculate the value when 3 is the peak or in other words you want to find out what is the maximum left sum possible if 3 is the peak so in this case you know that the value of the previous index should be less than equals to this but currently it's not right so what would have happened so in the previous configuration there should be some numbers and finally what could have happened is there should be some eights as well or there should be some sevens before it right and there should be some something before it so what with this 3 what we are saying is anything greater than 3 will just be chopped down to 3 because 3 is the maximum possible height that you can get as part of this particular peak right so anything greater than 3 we will just chop down to 3 itself so what is the previous smaller element of 3 1 so everything in between will just be chopped down to 3 so this 7 and 8 will both be both will both become 3 and this will be for 1 we can apply the exact same trick we can say that okay 1 is smaller than equals to this 3 so we can simply reuse whatever was the configuration for 1 right so just to reiterate this part we have two condition either the previous either the current element is smaller than the previous one or it is greater than the previous one if it is greater than we can simply reuse if it is smaller than then we have to actually chop down everything which is greater than 3 to 3 because 3 is the maximum possible height that we can achieve as per the configuration so we have to chop down this 8 to 3 we have to chop down this 7 to 3 we will do this until we hit a number which is actually less than 3 once we hit that number we know that before that we can actually reuse whatever we have achieved with the first pin uh, with the first scenario basically if this is 3 the previous element is also already less than equals to 3 so we can simply reuse right so let's just take one example to actually make uh, this thing bit more concrete so what we have to do as we discussed we have to first figure out what is the previous smaller element because uh we based on what is the previous smaller element we will decide what all things will be chopped down and uh, what we can reuse right so let's first try to find out what is the previous smaller element let's just get rid of uh, these things we don't need them 
and let's keep this here. So how to find previous model element? Uh, simple, you can just use stack uh, and find out what is the previous model element. So for zero, there is no previous model. So we just marked it as dash, right? For nine, zero is the previous model index. So we just marked it zero. For two, again, zero is the previous model index because nine, nine smaller than nine is five. The first element is smaller than nine is five. Similarly for eight, the sm first smaller element is five again. So it is also zero. For one, there is no previous smaller at all. So it is dash. For seven, it is one, right? So seven is uh, the previous smaller of index five is four, right? And uh, in the same fashion, you will find out the previous, previous smaller element for all of them. Now, once you have figured out the previous smaller element, we can actually figure out what will be the maximum sum of the left side when any index i is the peak, right? So what we want to find out if i is the peak, then what will be the sum of uh, the left side completely? Or what is the maximum possible sum of the left side? So we want to do this for all, all the i's, right? So as we have discussed, there are two criteria, right? Either the index i is smaller than the previous one or it is greater than the previous one. So let's start from the scratch. Let's say you are trying to find out the value for this i. In other words, you want to find out what will be the sum of the left side when this is the peak. So this is the mountain peak and what is the sum from the left side? So there is no left side at all, right? When this is the peak, the sum would be five itself. We are taking into consideration this index i itself as well. So basically the maximum sum possible up till this index would be five, right? Now let's say this is the i, or in other words, this is the mountain peak. So in that case, you know that the peak is at this index. So this value is nine, right? Now the previous element is actually smaller than equals to nine. In other words, you can, whatever was the value here, you can simply reuse that here. You don't need to do any change because for this index, you already know what is the maximum sum possible if the peak is five and you can't take anything greater than five because you are, we are bounded by this particular height. So you will simply reuse whatever was there at the previous index or at this particular index, which is five itself. So nine plus five would be the value, which is 14 here, right? In the same fashion, we will find out the next value as well. So in this case, nine is not, uh, again, nine is less than equal to nine, right? So in this case, we can simply reuse whatever the value was here, right? So we are trying to find out the scenario where this is the peak, right? So nine is less than equal to nine, so we can simply reuse. So we, it will be 14 plus nine, which is 23. Right, the value is the 14 percent to 23. Now, the same fashion for this one. Here, this condition is not satisfied. Instead, eight is greater than uh, eight is smaller than nine. So, what we are saying that if this is the peak, if eight is the peak, we want everything in the left should be less than equals to eight, right? So, we will simply mark everything which is which is greater than eight as eight itself. So the previous smaller index for three uh, for this particular index three is zero. So it means everything up till zero will be marked as eight. So we are saying that everything between zero and three will be eight. And before zero, we can reuse whatever we had. So we had three indexes with eight, which means 24, right? Eight into three plus whatever was there at index zero, which is five. So we will simply reuse five here. So the value here would be 29, right? So hope this makes sense. Let's just do one last thing. Uh, and then we'll conclude this. So for this particular index four, we know that eight is greater than one. So in other words, what we are saying is we want maximum height of the tower to be one. And hence, everything which is greater than one should be chopped down to one. So in other words, the previous smaller index of one is nothing. It means everything is greater than one. So basically all the indexes between minus one and four, let's say, will be chopped down to one. 
so in other words the value here would simply be 5 right so in the same fashion you will figure out the rest of the elements as well so notice what we wanted we wanted two things the maximum sum from the left and then maximum sum from the right so with this particular algorithm we got the maximum sum from the left of i in just order and time for all the indexes right so previously we have to iterate over all the indexes for a single index but now what we are saying we are will simply keep uh, this previous greater element or previous smaller element array and with this with the help of this array we can simply build what is the maximum sum in the left in just one iteration for all the indexes right so once you find out the left part we can in the same fashion we can find out the right part as well so let's just quickly look at it and then we will uh, conclude this particular piece so we 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 just saw what is the value for the left part right so let's just look at what will be the value or what will be the scenario for the right part as well so let's say this is the peak again so this is the peak right now if this is the peak and you want the value or you want the maximum sum from the right so again two condition either the next value is smaller than equals to the current uh, current element or it is greater than equals to the current element now if it is smaller than equals to the current element then we can actually uh, find out the value for this particular index without doing anything so basically the same fashion if it is in this particular case p is smaller than the current element in other words whatever was greater should be chopped down to p itself right and uh, we can simply find out what is the next smaller element right everything up till that should be chopped down to p and the rest we can reuse right in the same fashion let's say if uh, this is the p so in this case you can see the element is already greater than equals to the next one so in that case you can simply reuse whatever the value here was right because you can treat it as there was no condition at all on this particular index and it can be free it can move freely so basically you want what is the maximum height possible if the tower height at the index 7 is 3 which is what you already computed when you were trying to compute for 7 so again the exact same thing for the right side as well so let's just quickly do a dry run as well so in first we find out the next smaller element as well uh, just like the previous one so the next smaller element of 3 is 10 uh, which is the index uh, index 9 is the next smaller element is 10 similarly the next smaller element of index 8 is 9 next smaller element of index 7 is 8 oh, sorry next smaller element of index 7 would be 10 right and hence it is 10 so we'll simply figure out the next smaller element again with the help of uh, a stack it can be done in order and time now once we have figured out the next smaller element we can simply do uh, the same trick starting from the last index so what we are trying to find out for the last index if this is the peak then what is the maximum sum possible from the right side so there is no right side at all so this maximum sum from the right side would be 0 and this is the peak so the value of here would be 1 so the maximum possible sum is 1 right now if this is the peak what is the value again this is the peak it means the value here is 3 so 3 is the current value and what is there from the right side the current element is already greater than equals to the next element in other words we can simply reuse whatever was there whatever we have done for the next element itself because the maximum height possible here would be just one so we can simply reuse whatever the value here was which is one so we'll simply put four here right now let's do a couple of more if it is four it means again it is already less uh, greater than equals to so we can simply reuse whatever was here plus the current value which is eight right now let's do last one last so here it's not the case three is not greater than equals to the next one it means if this is the peak then the current 
tower height would be 3 and it's saying that the next tower maximum height would be 4 so we can't afford 4 here because what we want what we want is everything after this should be less than equals to 3 so we will chop down everything which is greater than 3 to 3 itself so what is the next smaller element next smaller element index is 10 it means everything between 7 and 10 was greater than equals to 3 so we everything here would be chopped down to 3 so everything will become 3 so this sum would become 9 and we will simply use whatever was there afterwards so 9 plus 1 which is 10 right so hope this entire thing also is clear so we are now able to find out what is the left sum and what is the right sum in order n time and we can now do we can now just uh, do a sum of summation of left and right to actually get our answer so let's look at that as well and we'll close this so this is what we got from the right side so we figured out this first and from this we figured out this so this is exactly what we were discussing right now so if you have a peak here the maximum sum from the right side would be 1 similarly if you have a peak here the maximum sum from the right side would be 18 so this all things you can find out just order and time with the help of this array right now in the same fashion we with the help of the previous smaller element we calculated the same thing from the left as well so basically if this is the peak then the maximum sum from the left side is 12 similarly if this is the peak then the maximum sum from the right uh, left side is 18 now now that we know what is the maximum sum from the left and the right side we can simply merge them and figure out what is the maximum sum of the total array if a given index is the peak so let's say index 5 is the peak right so we are saying that this is the peak now we know that uh, the maximum sum possible from the left side is 12 and we also know that maximum sum possible from the right side is 24 right notice that p index p is comp is uh, present in both the sum so we have to just subtract it one time and what will be the value at index p it will be 7 itself because at index p we want to create the maximum height tower and the maximum height tower that is allowed is 7 so we'll simply put 7 uh, we'll we'll simply use 7 because 7 is the value which we have which we have used while calculating or while considering the contribution of index 5 here and here so the maximum sum that is possible if index 5 is the peak will be 12 plus 24 minus 7 which is 36 minus 7 which is 29 and if you remember from the start of the video this is exactly the same sum that we have gotten so what is the time complexity now previously we were trying to find out this left sum and right sum in order and time for a single index now we have pre-computed this left and right sum in just order and time beforehand and now for each indexes we can simply figure out what is the maximum sum if a given index is the peak in just order one time so the overall time complexity is order n so just to reiterate the entire piece we'll first find out the previous smaller element we'll find out the next smaller element from previous smaller element we'll find out what is the maximum sum possible if index p is the peak for all the piece with the help of this previous smaller element the idea there was if the next element if the current peak element is less than equals to the previous element it means we can simply reuse whatever was there previously because in previous while calculating the value for previous one we would have comp we would have taken into consideration the maximum height only so if it is more if it is greater we'll simply go to the uh, we'll simply go to the index which is actually smaller and we'll say everything in between will be chopped down to the current value because that's the max height that you can achieve so that's how we computed this array in this order and time and in the same fashion we computed the light array as well from the right uh, from the first right smaller element and once we have these two array we can simply compute what is the maximum sum possible if index p is the peak 
So with this, we can solve this entire problem in just order n time, which will be sufficient to pass the given time constraint for the third problem as well. So if you have watched this point, I would strongly, strongly encourage you to pause the video right here and try to code this entire thing by yourself. The exact code I'm not showing you in this video, it would be very straightforward. I would link the code sample the solution in the description down below so that if you do, if you are not able to code it out yourself, you can, uh, you can see that and actually try it again by yourself. So hope you understand everything. If you have any doubts in any of the piece, feel free to follow up and I would be happy to answer your uh, questions. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you.